Yes, we now have the second beta version of iPadOS 26.1, as well as the official public release of 26.01. But is it time for you to update to either of these? That's what we're gonna talk about in this video. Let's go. The short answer is maybe with an underlying no. If you're in the middle of a big project, if you've got a device that you use daily for really important work, you don't need to update. iOS and iPadOS 18 are still 100% stable. They still get all the security updates, so you're absolutely safe and okay to stay on the previous version. However, now that we have the 0.01 version, it is a little bit more likely that things are going to go smoothly for you if you do update. As far as 26.1 goes, yes, this is a beta version. So unless like me, you're using it on a second device, you do want to stay away from it and just stick to the public releases. In fact, on this device, I'm going to change because I'm currently on the development beta. I'm going to turn that off so that we can actually go back and install 26.01 on this iPad. To update your iPad or iPhone, you'll first need to find the settings app. So the easiest way to do that is to swipe down on the screen, type in the word settings, and then tap on the icon. Here under general, you'll see software update over here on the right. Let's tap on that. And here it is, iPadOS 26.0.1. Now, if you're on 18, you'll have an update at the top here. And then down the bottom here, you'll see something similar to this. So all you need to do is decide, do I want to update now or update overnight? Let's tap on the update now button to see what happens. We enter our passcode. And there you go, the update is now requested. That will request the update file and then it will download it. Once it's ready to go, it'll say install now. You hit the button and it'll install and restart your iPad. Now, before you do this, check a couple of things. First of all, make sure that you've got enough charge on your device and that it's actually plugged in because it won't allow you to update if not. The other thing you wanna do is check your backup. So if we come here in the settings app and type in backup, it's going to give us the iCloud backup. Let's tap on that. And there you go, it's being backed up. But what you'll wanna do is before you actually install the update, hit the backup now button. That will just ensure that absolutely everything is backed up to iCloud. That way, if anything goes wrong, and there's always a chance when you're updating that something will go wrong, you'll have a complete backup of your iPad, your iPhone, or your other device in the cloud. And back under general and software update, we can now see that the update is actually downloading. Once this is finished downloading, then it will give us the option to install. We're on to the next step, which is preparing the update. So it's downloaded the file, it's getting that ready. And the next thing we'll get is the option to actually hit the go button and get this done. While this preparation is finalizing, what actually changed between 26 and 26.01? Well, it was just some security updates and some bug fixes. You can see a couple of them on the screen there and you can actually go in and read all the different changes. There's not a whole lot here, but if you're already on 26, you're definitely going to want to go to 26.01 just to make sure that you have the latest update installed. And here we go. You have a couple of seconds there. I'm just going to hit the later button just to uh, make sure that we can continue with the video. I'm going to now put in my code. And now it's actually scheduled that update for later. But of course, you can just go ahead and let it install and you'll be on your way to iPadOS 26.01. If you've got any comments or questions about this update or anything else related to music production on your iPhone or iPad, drop a comment down below. Hit the like button if you liked it. Subscribe if you want to see more and I'll see you next time.